everyone. My name is Abigail Davis, and as Ms. Nancy and some other speakers have said so far, I think you can kind of get the point that there is a huge public health crisis regarding youth vaping. More than 27% of high schoolers reported that they vape. That is 18 times more than it was eight years ago. That is so shocking to me, but I've also witnessed this firsthand in my high school. I'm now a college freshman at the University of Arkansas, but even in high school, it was everywhere. Um, not only in the bathrooms, but sometimes in the hallways, sometimes in classrooms when the teachers weren't looking, they would vape. And it would be crazy because I'd look around and I just didn't get it. And so I decided to do something about it. So I testified, it, testified in front of the Arkansas state legislator for the bill called Tobacco 21. And that raised the minimum age to buy tobacco products to 21 years old. And thankfully it passed. But that doesn't mean our battle is over because that was only in Arkansas. And so we need to make sure that we are banning flavored tobacco products from the market altogether. Because these kids and these teenagers my age, some of my best friends are doing it and they don't know what's going into their bodies. You know, one jewel pot, you know, these are small things. And some of my friends go through three or more a day. Those jewel pods contain as much nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. That's crazy, and so many of these kids don't know that, and they need to. And that's why it's so amazing that the American Heart Association is funding this, and they want to do more research regarding this topic. And that's why I'm so thankful today that I'm here along with all these other individuals that are so passionate about the same topic, and that we really want to stop this problem and find a solution. So thank you. Thank you.